Good morning and welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. I'm just going to get the Christmas tree in there. I immediately sit down with a cup of coffee and I'm joined by the two amigos. <laughs> um, there is a third dog, Angel, but she's never interested in jumping up on the couch with me. She's, she's, she's a funny little dog, really. It is funny how the three of them have different personalities and the kittens have different personalities as well. And... Yeah, I know they're, I was going to say they're human beings as well. <laughs> they have their own little quirks and things. So Angel just lives in Angel's world. Angel does her thing. She does what suits her. She sleeps in her bed. She doesn't really give a toss about the rest of us. Oh God, there's the lights going again. Um, Angel is deaf. Um, when she's in her bed, one of the others might cuddle up with her. But there is no way that she will go into her bed if one of the others are in it in before her. I'm really tired this morning. I feel very drained and my eyes are really sore. Um, and I think my eyes are really sore because I've slept on the old makeup all week <laughs> because it just makes me look a little bit like fresher and tidier and less knackered looking. Uh, but no, my eyes are really sore now uh, because of it. I find that by about four o'clock in the day, um, the eyes have just had enough of the makeup. And I've tried loads of different brands and I haven't found one that doesn't interfere with my eyes. So I remember trying one a few years ago that was really nice on the face. It, was, it had like a cooling effect. Um, oh, but my eyes hated it. I, if I put it on, I would have to take it off about five minutes later and still my eyes would suffer all day. So yeah, very sensitive, very sensitive eyes. But um, yeah, so it's Saturday morning. I'm having coffee with the dogs. Um, I alternate between the dogs and the cats, if you haven't noticed on my vlogmas. Uh, so I fed the kittens, fed the cats. Um, you'll hear the, you'll hear possibly little sn snoring noises from Lola. Um, so today isn't the day that we were planning because, um, yeah, Jason didn't get here yesterday, last night. <laughs> um, so I know there's a bit of confusion when I talk about um, Jason and I do forget that I have loads of new subscribers now as well so um, yeah Jason is my partner god bless him <laughs> he has yeah he has a hell of a job really to put up with me but yeah he is my partner and he works in the UK so it's um yeah it gets a uh, week you know we can manage it it gets tough at times that's Angel in her stilettos again doing the morning like shake rattle and roll um, yeah it gets really tough at times when you know something goes wrong with the flight and we're so looking forward to seeing each other for the weekend and then he doesn't get here but um yeah kind of it is what it is it's the life that we have <laughs> made for ourselves i guess so we have to put up with these things but yeah it's really disappointing really disappointing really disappointing for him yesterday because he had the whole day waiting for the pcr test results didn't arrive until he managed to like get back home again, get into bed. So that was far too late. I don't know what's going on. It's really unfair. It's very unfair for people. And I know that, you know, everybody's trying to do the best they can as well. So yeah, I do sometimes regret timber floors <laughs> for the dogs. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at my wallpaper over there again. Um, and my wallpaper is arriving on Monday. Not that it makes much difference, it's just that I will have it um, and won't be wallpapering on Monday. Um, so I've had mixed reviews and mixed ideas about my navy walls, but I think um, the majority votes are for the navy walls. So I'm, I'm going to get some testers because I think the navy one is a bit of a, it, it's a bit of a chance really because uh, like I know one of you lovely ladies said that like navy can be very depressing so the wrong shade of navy is going to be a depressing one so I'm hoping I might be able to find a navy that's between a navy and a grey because I love the grey that's up in my bedroom. Um, I'll give you a look later at the navy actually and as I said it's the same direction room as this and it's really bright so um, yeah, hop into bed there now, Angel, good girl. Yeah, she's got into her bed now. <laughs> uh, so the plans for today are, um, I am going to work this morning, half day, I think. 
it is raining outside this morning which is nothing new very misty looking and I've noticed that since the wind and the rain and the storm my windows are absolutely filthy they're at filthy now I'm not going to say that they were sparkling before the storm but now since all the wind and all the rain that evening they are horribly dirty um, so, but they're not my plans today. That was just a thought. I'm just looking at the window and I'm going, oh my God, you are so dirty. You're so bad. Um, yeah, but it's raining anyway. And we had these great notions to put up the, the, the real Christmas tree today. So unless myself and Karis can wrestle the tree, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to think about it. I really want to see it up because it's laying outside at the moment. Um, I may have to conscript in. Maybe my brother next door might give us a hand. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. Girl power and all that. And uh, yeah, and I think we may go into town in the afternoon. I just feel like getting out. Just need to get out. I fancy my, myself and Jason had plans to put up the Christmas tree and then go into town to get a mince pie and a cappuccino. Yeah, we live on the living on the edge. Uh, so I think myself and Karis might go into town later. Um, so yeah, Karis is going to her nanny's party this evening. I'm not quite sure of the time or anything like that. And I'm hoping it's still going ahead. I actually haven't heard from anybody. I might give um, Nanny a buzz after a while and ask. It's not a surprise party, so she knows all about it. She's not the sort of lady that you can pull a big surprise party on. That would just wouldn't go down well at all. I must say it wouldn't go down well for me either. And I was, I was, I was actually almost relieved last year turning the big five zero that um yeah <laughs> there couldn't be a party for me <laughs> i'm still trying to come to terms with it i don't feel it i still feel it like i'm in my 30s but um the creaky <laughs> the creaky joints are definitely well in their 50s so um yeah um so yeah i'm gonna work this morning for a little while um i got the most gorgeous delivery sorry i'm rubbing my eyes they're really really sore i'll have to pop into the chemist today and see can i find something to sort of you know freshen the eyes or make them feel less tired slightly runny nose as well at the moment but i think it's more of a sinus than a cold it's a cold you'd feel in the back of your throat but um Yes, so yes, I got a lovely delivery yesterday of Fabric Godmother, Fabric Godmother <laughs> um, viscoses. So they're viscose sateens, they're really nice. Um, I took them out of the packet, I had a look at them and I have put them on the website and now I want to just go and sort of feel them and see what will I make with them um, because I really want to make something with them. And I feel that a little bit of sewing is going to get me through the week. I'm really worried about next weekend because um, seeing as Jason's flight didn't go well this weekend, he's due to fly over next Sunday for Christmas. And uh, yeah, now he's really stressed out about that. And yeah, so am I. And because it all fell through last year, he had a flight booked and um lockdown rules came in and all flights were cancelled just like the day before he was meant to fly so it was just me and Keris for Christmas last year um, my son is coming home next Sunday as well um, he has a ferry booked and I'm hoping that will go well as well um, I think if yeah if something happens next Sunday and they can't come home <laughs> I think I think I'm just gonna curl up in a ball somewhere and um just say you know good luck Christmas <laughs> I've had enough with you um so uh, yeah so compose yourself Andrea um yeah so yeah myself and Karis will do a few Christmassy things today and I have a lot of stuff in the attic to bring down to do a bit of decorating we will light a few Christmas candles um we got a few new um Yankee Candle tartlets the last day we were in town and I burnt I started burning one yesterday and I think it's called like Christmas tree and it's gorgeous so I put it in this room because of course that's an artificial tree and I started burning like the festive tree smell and um, yeah it was amazing it actually felt like walking in and smelling the real Christmas tree yeah I love Yankee Candles I never like the ones that are like cookie dough or you know apple pie or those because to me they just smell like <laughs> burnt apple pie and burnt cookies there's just that little burnt 
smell of them so I don't like those and I'm very familiar with the smell of burnt apple pie so yeah never buy those but um yeah we have a few new Christmassy ones so I will light them uh, today so I won't sit here and bore you <laughs> I'm going to drink the rest of my coffee and then I'm going to go and um, do a little bit of work just put on some washing it's all very exciting um, I'm, do you know what? I'm so delighted I've caught up with all my ironing. So normally all my ironing is up on the landing and it's in a few big piles and I have to keep walking past the, the, sh the, sh the shameful pile of ironing. And so, yeah, it's not there at the moment. So, yeah, that was a bonus this week. So, yeah, I'll get about my day and I will talk to you all later. Well, a little update on my day. I did nothing. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere. I didn't leave the house. What's new? Um, yeah, the day turned really horrible. The weather was rotten, so um, I just didn't feel like going out and, you know, getting like damp. <laughs> Do you know, like if it rained fully, it'd be one thing, but it was just kind of drizzling all day. It was really horrible. So I drove the car around the side of the house and I was going to wash it uh, because it is so dirty. That didn't get done because, yeah, it was dark, miserable. I'm here actually sewing. Uh, my blouse together so I have um, I have the collar I listen back to my <laughs> vlogs and I flit and I flit back and forth different things god I like I could never be a public speaker I mean I'd be so confusing to listen to because my conversations are just so disjointed you can imagine what my brain is like <laughs> but yeah I'll tell you about my blouse first I've got the collar on, I've got the button band, it's all hemmed. This is the Atelier Jupe Frida blouse and I'm just pinning in the sleeves. So I have the sleeves actually made, I've got the little cuff thing done. I tend to put sleeves in last if I can because um, I like to do the collar and all those kind of bits when there isn't too many things dangling out of the blouse so it's just easier to manage and they're a little bit of extra weight aren't they to be trying to look after so yeah put the put the put the sleeves in last um so yeah today um yeah i didn't leave the house didn't go anywhere didn't get my um mince pie didn't put the christmas tree up because the christmas tree is outside in a net and it's wet and it would just be like shaking a damp dog around the, the hall so we didn't do that Karis has gone out to her uh nanny's party so she got all dressed up. She looked lovely. She looked cute. Nothing me made. Oh no, sorry. She had her denim jacket on that I made her last year. The dark blue, the indigo one. She wears that such a lot. And um, yeah, so she's gone. So I'm home alone. I came up here to do some sewing. I actually came up really to make a dress from this gorgeous fabric godmother viscose sateen. And then I remembered, of course, that I have my blouse to finish. Now, I was very tempted to leave the blouse to one side, but I need to change the overlocker to make this. And I thought, well, if I do that with the blouse, I may not pick up the blouse for a while again. So just finish it. Won't take you long. And then make this. So this is the Sewing Revival Heron Dress. This is obviously the pocket. I cut the pocket out, even though... I don't know if I put the pocket in because they're those kind of dangly pockets and there's nothing to attach them to so yeah oh I was gonna say I'll put in a picture of the heron dress probably will but that's the line drawing of it so you can see I'm making that one there which has an opening and a drawstring around the neck and then I'm actually making this sleeve here you can see the pockets there what I like about it is I really like the Fri Friday pattern pattern company Wilder Gown, but at the re the dress is just too much. But I really like the neckline of it here, so this one kind of ticks all the boxes. And what I really like about this one as well is that there's a casing at the back of the dress where you put your belt through, and then it comes out the side seams, and then you tie it at the front. So I just thought that was really good because then at the back it's nicely gathered with the belt going through the casing and then at the front I can manage it because I can get it at the sides and tie it at the front. So I thought that was really cool. I don't know why I never thought of that before. 
because generally on those kind of dresses I do put a draw not a drawstring but I do put a belt I attach it in at the front and then because of the shoulder I have to kind of chuck it around the back and try and grab it with the other hand and uh, get myself in a knot basically to tie it so I thought oh my god this one is this is just brilliant I bought the pattern ages ago um I think there was a sale something like that maybe there wasn't I bought a few sewing revival patterns and I've made the Rossella top which is really nice I also have about three other patterns so I really need to get cracking on making them does anybody else do that like buy pdf patterns because you really really love them and then they sit in your computer in a file for ages so yeah that's going to be that so i thought that would be really nice i do love the, the fabric um i have six i think it's six prints in but this i thought that one kind of looked christmasy there's like greens and reds and golds and things in it so i thought oh that if that turns out really nice that could be my christmas dress there is a like a shirt tail on it, so you can see it there. But I actually cut it straight across because um, I want to wear it with black tights and maybe my boots. And I just think, yeah, the shirt tail is just going to bring me down. So yeah, that's that's next. So I don't have much to do on the blouse. I just literally have to put the sleeves in. Um, I am going to leave the buttonholes though for another day. I'm just going to put it on, onto my mannequin and do the buttonholes another day because I just don't feel like doing buttons today. And I know I shouldn't do that because God knows when it'll take me to get back to do the buttonholes. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I haven't got it in me today to do buttonholes. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, so uh, I've been reading comments today on my uh, yesterday's vlog and uh, thank you all. You're all so lovely and you know, just saying sorry that Jason couldn't be here with me this weekend and all that. And thank you all so much. It's so nice. It means so much to me. And I got lovely emails today wondering how I was. And yeah, so nice. It's lovely. I was here sewing away thinking I'm so lucky to be involved in such a fabulous sewing community. Because I've made a career out of sewing. I've made a career out of my hobby since I was probably 19, I'd say. 20 at the most and I've worked in so many different areas of sewing that yeah it's unbelievable like uh, sewing is just so diverse isn't it there's so many different directions to go and there's so many jobs that you can have and uh, all of my jobs bar one have been in self-employment so yeah it's been it's been lovely it was a real blast from the past yesterday having a girl in to try on the dancing dress and I'm actually so pleased that you really enjoyed my little chat about the Irish dancing dress. It is fascinating really to hear about other people's areas of sewing business I guess and they're, they're so unusual, they're such unusual dresses so I am glad that you really you enjoyed my little talk about that but it was so lovely to see the girl in the dress yesterday and talk to the mother and yeah, it was really nice. Uh, but it's not an avenue I ever want to go back down again. Isn't it funny, really? I loved it while I was at it. But when you step back from it, then I love this far more. I love what I'm doing now far, far more. And yeah, making Irish dancing dresses is a, it's a challenge. It's quite it's very stressful. It is very enjoyable when you see a happy dancer in the dress that she has envis envis envisioned <laughs> uh, but the journey can, sometimes can be really very stressful and I had some very very stressful experiences in my job making Irish dancing dresses and I know everybody has to deal with stresses um, I know that uh, but when it starts to take the joy out of what you're doing yeah I, I'll never go back. No, no. Um, so, yeah, I I used to love, I used to love doing what I did. But I love this a lot more. So, yeah, it's great. It's great. I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky to be involved in a lovely sewing community and have made so many lovely sewing friends. And 
Yeah, I'm thanking my I, I'm thanking my lucky stars today. I'm trying to be positive now this afternoon. I am feeling that I don't want to wallow in all the whole COVID crap because we're all going through it in all different directions and ways and just yeah think positively and not get my knickers in a twist basically <gasps> even though i can make new untwisted knickers can't i so um yeah so i am um, i'm gonna crack on with my blouse now and i am going to get on with that i'm looking forward to making that yeah as i say i'm home alone i may bring the kittens up up after a while i didn't bring them up straight away this evening because they were very fascinated with my box of pins or my bowl of pins i think they were trying to tell me they were hungry last night because they kept going over to the bowl and picking up a pin in their mouth which terrified me so um yeah i thought i'd give them i'll get up here for a little while on my own this evening and then i'll bring them up after a while so because they are a great little company or i will finish my sewing and i will go down and sit sit with my dogs i'm very lucky i'm in i'm in a house with no other humans but i've lots of company <laughs> so i hope that you enjoyed today's vlog and um i will see you i won't do a vlog tomorrow because tomorrow is the day that i do my sunday live in the evening on youtube and um yeah, it's not as though I can vlog during the day. It's just the fact that I have to edit and upload after the live and that's just too much. So tomorrow's live will be day 12 of Vlogmas. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.